Welcome to Xara template tutorial lesson number 45. In this Xara Web Designer 7 Premium tutorial, we'll be making an extension on the things that you learned in lesson 44 for the find and replace feature. So in this tutorial, we'll go over some additional things that you can do with the find and replace option within Xara Web Designer 7 Premium. If you haven't already, go ahead and start a blank new document in Xara Web Designer 7 Premium. Once you do that, let's go ahead and go to our toolbar and click on the text tool. And once you select the text tool, let's go ahead and draw a text area. So left click and drag. And then we're just going to write Xara Web Designer Lesson forty five period and then I'm going to select the selection tool to deselect that selection and once you write Xara Web Designer lesson forty five go ahead and left click on it once with the selection tool and you'll know that you have it selected because the nodes are around it you can see the square nodes there and then hit the letter I'm sorry hit the key the control key and while you have the control key held down hit the C key and that's going to make a copy of that particular text area and then the next thing that you want to do is go to your page and layer gallery and we're going to lock that panel by clicking the thumbnail in the upper right hand corner the thumbnail tag so left click on that and then within your page and layer gallery panel you're going to go to the option that says well actually I'm sorry before we do anything let's left click on the thumbnail here for the index page and when you left click on that you'll notice selected by seeing the blue rectangle behind it and then you'll see an option that will appear in your page and layer gallery that says new page and we're going to click on the new page option And when you click on that new page option you'll see that it adds a new page and we're going to click the new page option about two more times so you should have about a total of four pages within your document now and let's click on the second page which will be the one right after your index page and when you left click on that let's go back to our workspace and left click in any empty area in your workspace and then hit control V and when we hit control V it's going to paste the copy of that text that we copied from page one now let's go to page three so left click on page three within your page and layer gallery and again you'll know it's selected because of the blue rectangle behind it then go back to your workspace left click in any empty space in your workspace hit control plus V again and then go to page 4 and do the same thing control V and paste a copy of that text now let's go back to our first page the index page left click on that and it'll be the first page within your page and layer gallery so once you select that page let's go ahead and go to edit in our upper left hand menu in our workspace and click on find and replace so left click that and then your find and replace panel will pop up and we're going to search for the text Xara and as you can see it finds the text Xara within our workspace here and then we're going to replace that with uh, Joe we're going to call it Joe again Joe web designer lesson 45 well that doesn't make sense but the point is that I'm going to show you how to replace it with only within the current text flow so let's select current text flow and when you select current text flow if you hit replace all you will see that it replaced one occurrence on one page so click OK and you'll see that now it says Joe web designer lesson 45 and if you go to any of your other pages so let's go to the page and layer gallery go to second page you'll see that it still says Xara Web Designer Lesson 45 so Xara is still the same if you go to page 3 you'll see that it still stays the same and if you click on page 4 in the page and layer gallery it's still the same but if you go back to page the first page your index page you'll see that it still says Joe Web Designer Lesson 45 so that means that when you're in current text flow it only changes the text that you currently have selected so let's go ahead and change this back to Xara. So left click on Joe and then 
change it back to Xar. And once you do that, let's go back to our find and replace panel here. And we're going to set it to all pages for the scope. And when you set it to all pages, if you hit replace all, it's going to replace Xar with the word Joe on all of the pages. So hit replace all. And you'll see that it says replace four occurrences on four pages. So left click OK. And now let's go back to our page in layer gallery. And left click on page two. And you'll see that in our workspace it does indeed say Joe instead of Xar. If you go to page three, it'll again say Joe. If you go to page four, it says Joe. If you go to page one, it still says Joe. But let's say you made a mistake and you want to change it back to Xar. So in this case, we would change the search for to Joe, and we would change the replace with to Xar, and then we would hit replace all, and you'll see that it replaced four occurrences on four pages. And as you can see, in our current page, it changed it to Xar instead of Joe. You go to page two, it changed it to Xar. Xar is no longer Joe. And page three and page four, you see the same thing happens. Now let's go ahead and let's change this by hand. Let's go ahead and close out this find and replace panel. And let's say that we made a mistake again and it wasn't supposed to read Xar, it's supposed to read Joe. So let's go ahead and change this one to Joe. Then we gotta go to page two and change that to Joe. Then we gotta go to page three, change that to Joe. Then we have to go to page four in the, in the page and layers gallery and change Xar to Joe. Now you see how long that took for me to change each and every one of those on every page. Now imagine that you have a, a 30 or 40 page website and you make an error for spelling a word and you want to do a change for that on every page. It would take you a very long time to accomplish that. Whereas if I go to edit in the upper left hand menu here and go to find and replace and I want to change Joe back to Xar. If I change search for to Joe and then replace with to Xar, and make sure that you have the scope option set to all pages. If you hit replace all, it's instantaneous. So you save a lot of time by using the find and replace feature. It saves you a lot of time. So in my opinion, instead of going in and changing every page one by one, simply use the find and replace feature when it's something simple that you want to change and you want to change instantaneously. So it saves you a lot of time and I'm sure it'll save you a lot of money because that extra time can be dedicated to building other websites. Now just like before you can turn on some of the case sensitive options and you can change on the whole word option and that would affect you know if, if it's case sensitive it would be dependent on your casing if you have uppercase letters it has to match what you have in your document so and if you don't know what I'm talking about just watch the previous lesson lesson 44 talks about case sensitivity and it talks about whole word but I just wanted to show you the value in using the find and replace feature and how it can save you a lot of time and another thing that I, I probably should mention is that imagine that you have paragraphs of text and it's not as simple as looking for one sentence if you got a pair paragraphs of text on 20 or 30 pages and you want to change a word it's going to be even a lot longer because you have to read through all that information and actually find the word you're looking for but let me show you one other thing let's say that you wanted to change Xar web designer instead of just changing one word we want to change multiple words into a completely different sentence so let's go ahead and change this to uh, let's see search for Xar web designer and we're going to change that to replace with Xar Web. Des well, we'll call it Joe's Web Design Professional. Well, Joe's Web Design. I'm trying to think of what I want to call it. Let's come up with something else. We'll call it Professional Web Design for Beginners. Let's name it that. So professional web design for beginners. And we're going to search for Xar Web Designer and we're going to replace it with 
professional web design for beginners and we're going to do this on all pages so let's select the replace all option and it again replaces four occurrences on four pages instantaneously and as you can see it says professional web design for beginners lesson 45 and if you go to any page no matter what page it is that is what it will say so it say again it saves you a lot of time and I highly recommend that you use this feature when there are certain things that you want to change on multiple pages uh, within your workspace document so uh, if you have any questions you know feel free to shoot me a message on YouTube if you have suggestions for new tutorials that you would like to see please send me a message and also don't forget to give us thumbs up if this video was helpful and subscribe to our channel and uh, embed our video if you like any of those things feel free to do them and uh, we hope that this tutorial again was helpful for you and hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials for learning the Xara software.